space heaters. That's the problem, sir. He's already thawing condensers at Coronas. Should I pull him off of that? Mm. Survival tip number four. Always keep your socks dry while working in extreme frigid conditions. Hypothermia is your greatest enemy, so heat retention and moisture management are key to your survival. Avoid submersion at all costs. seem like too much of a Nevik toady. But the way he buckles to these crazy rules, man. And here we are in a turf war with these acrid, day-to-day, hour-to-hour, but if we put weapons on a raid, oh, no. Then we're not a science op, but a military op, and Braddock doesn't get to be in charge. Like anyone's gonna rat him out for letting us protect ourselves. Survival tip number three. Don't stray from warm areas without an environment suit. Your Nevik designed suit will keep you warm and safe in even the most inhospitable environments. Be mindful to charge your suit overnight and stay within range of an umbilical field at all times. Stay happy, stay warm. allies pulled out of a national unity government today due to fears that the militant Crimson Unity Party would claim remaining energy reserves. Crimson Unity was instrumental in the government's collapse when its well-equipped militiamen overran much of the country in September, forcing the president to cede to a severely crippled national unity government. With the energy crisis firmly rooted and little hope of resolution, Observers fear that this latest development will cause a domino effect across the region, plunging the entire continent into turmoil. For IBR, this is Suzanne Lee. Nevik survival tip number five, don't eat the snow. On a frontier world, never ingest snow, no matter how thirsty you feel. It can cool your body's internal temperature, causing arterial constriction and organ shutdown. Don't be a test case in the discovery of new diseases. Alien parasite ingestion is also a genuine danger. Stay smart, stay hydrated.
I know it's early, but I was seized this morning by the divine spirit of artistic creation. I was at breakfast, and Colbeck had come up with these griddle cakes made out of vital weed gluten or something, and it got me thinking about the corn my folks used to grow when they still had their farm on Olympus One. And I was saying how I couldn't have been more than ten, but I built this thing called a cornipole. But it's really more of a slingshot, and then I realized nobody was at the table anymore, so I came out here and I installed some curtain retractors on the new guy's rig. It's like a human cornipole, see? Except, you know, kind of not. Hope you don't mind. I should get some coffee. Or sleep. Yeah, sleep's good. Yeah, coffee's better. Survival tip number six. Never stray from your umbilical in sub-zero temperatures. The umbilical field provides supplemental power to your environment suit, increasing your level of warmth and powering tactical readouts that your suit's battery could otherwise not support. Stay smart. Stay close. Was up 12% this month. Just a reminder to conservative purifier resupply in April. Survival tip number two, heat hazard warnings. All Nevik approved vehicles and utility rigs are equipped with hazard sensors designed to keep you aware of potential dangers in the environment. Do not consider these warnings advice. Consider them gospel. Stay aware, stay alive.
genetic level, the acrid are remarkably unstable. I can't find a record of a species on any documented world that has such a high rate of mutation. I'm sure the radioactivity level of their blood is no coincidence. Theoretically, if forced by circumstances to adapt for survival, it would only take a couple of generations for an acrid to evolve into a distinctly different form. turning back now. I drew him out, and I let him glimpse me at the relay station. If fortune favors my enterprise, his curiosity will lead him to the truth. After that, I can only hope he is the man of honor I take him for.
he may yet survive. But how much longer will he sleep? I am certain only of this. There will be consequences for what I have done. but to delve inward. Now I must keep watch for...
to be wrong, my brother, but from up here I can see it was worse than I feared. There are limits to our science, don't you remember? Don't you know when you have seen something beyond true comprehension, a piece of something divine, whatever our oaths, our contracts, how could you see what we saw and still lead them to her? Still, Soichi, I'm sorry I'm not there to help you. It is my weakness, my failing to have rescued your fate. May we forgive one another in the next life.
Beat. This place, this planet had the last laugh. A cruel trick killing my rig. I tried to go on foot. For the sake of the truth, I tried. But I'm stuck. And the acrid keep coming. Emma, though, nobody knows I'm here. Your secret dies with me. they have given up on finding the female pilot. A replacement has arrived, and he has already made several rescues of his crewmates. I believe he will be worth keeping an eye on. Perhaps he will respond to the clues better than she did. I wonder what became of her.
president received a hostile reception during his speech on Tuesday, his first since the debt crisis developed two years ago due to the rising cost of fuel. Thousands took to the streets, protesting the severe austerity measures enforced in exchange for multi-billion dollar bailouts. The demonstrations proceeded despite the deployment of more than 6,000 police officers to lock down the Capitol. And despite the president's attempts to placate protesters with promises of further alternative fuel research, analysts predict the new austerity measures will drag the recession into a third year. Reporting for IBR, this is Suzanne Lee. father's op, that raid. His signature achievement. Got sacked by pirates, held the whole moon hostage till the commando raid set them free. Squeezing that rock dry must have powered Earth another 20 years, but never gone top for good. They made him general, supreme paramilitary commander, and on his back they built an empire. But the father I knew wasn't like his reputation. A distant man. Haunted. After he died, I inherited his private files. I came to realize it was here on EDN3 that... Find something useful in a patent file, sir? It's quite a read. He's been on our radar since he was a military cadet. Top of his class, came highly recommended for our elite security force. But while observing exercises, another cadet got over-eager, tried to show off. Uh, details are sketchy, but Peyton's credited with saving several lives at the cost of a catastrophic injury to his knee. Ended a promising military career before it began. Isn't that interesting? A few details go another way, and perhaps he'd be standing here instead of you, DeGreen. You wound me to the core, sir. Braddock, I don't appreciate being ignored. I know what I saw, even if I don't know what it means. I know he is your golden boy, but he's hiding something from you and the entire base. And if you're not going to do something about it, I will. Thank you. 